Okay? So, this will be our solution for your problem number 9 into your practice problem. So, this is practice problem number 9. Tataas lang natin yung size. So, practice. So, before you will take your quiz next week in your week 5. So, ang lalagay ko ito ng week 3 and week 4 nyo. Okay? And then, week 5 and week 6. So, before you will take your quiz next week, so let us consider solving this problem. Uh, as a train accelerates uniformly, it passes successive kilometer marks while traveling at velocities of 2 meters per second and then 10 meters per second. Determine the train's velocity when it passes the next kilometer mark and the time it takes to travel the 2 kilometer distance. So, sinabi na niya agad yung 2 km distance which means it is the total distance or the total displacement of your particle. So, take note that in this physics, we are considering every element as a particle which means wala tayong kinoconsider pang uh, weight. Weight and the size of the motion. Okay, we are only considering the particle itself and its geometrical significance with the kinematic motion okay so let's say this is a particle and then it has two kilometer marks okay we have our first kilometer mark okay which is let's say 1000 meter this is our first kilometer mark take note that i decided to take the kilometer mark into or convert it into meter in order to have a constant of constant unit which is meters so this is our first kilometer mark so let's say this will be our s1 okay so first kilometer mark and then our third kilometer mark uh, uh second kilometer mark i should say which is also equal to 2000 meters okay but kasi nabing second kilometer mark so 1000 kilometer plus 1000 kilometer okay so 1000 plus 1000 kaya naging second kilometer mark siya which is actually your 2000 meters uh determine the, ta the train's velocity when it passes the next kilometer mark so this is our first kilometer mark so let's say this is your vf1 and then its velocity at second kilometer mark is unknown Take note that our first kilometer mark has a velocity equal to 10 meters per second. And our initial velocity at t equals 0 or your vi is equal to 2 meters per second. So, the first question is trace velocity in the first the next kilometer mark. Velocity at next kilometer mark or this one VF2 KM mark or VF2 and next question is the time it takes to travel the 2 kilometer distance okay so tinatanong din yung dito natin time travel To take the two kilometer distance so take note pag one dimensional motion at this moment your displacement is synonymous with your distance distance so in position so don't uh, wag kayong uh, malito okay don't confuse yourself Upon knowing that this one, or upon knowing this diagram, so therefore, you can solve it. First things first is you should know the kinematic equations, especially when 
you are in pieces in face to face learning so bali pag face to face to medyo mas mahirap siya eh, kasi direct siya eh isipin mo talaga kung anong formula ang the best na gamitin so what are our formulas so may tatlo tayong formula di ba no motions natin so we have our vf squared less vi squared is equal to our 2as and then we also have our formula s is equal to vit plus one half at squared and then we also have our vf less vi is equal to 80 but what is the for best formula to use in this problem so the tip is that Tablet all the given. We have two unknowns. Uh, actually, three unknowns. Our acceleration. So, take note that the whole duration of the motion, we have a constant acceleration, A. Wala siya, hindi siya nagbago sa problem. So, A is unknown. So, take note that A at your S1 and S2 later on are equal. Why? Because it is a constant acceleration. O, hindi siya nagbago. So, pag graph mo, yung VNT graph nito is that this is your T1 and then at this is your T2 then let's say this is your VF1 and then this is your VF2. So, particularly, you have already your 2 kilometer mark, uh, 2 meters per second dyan. So, ganito yung graph niya. Okay? So, hindi nagbabago yan. So, ganyan lang yan hanggang sa tumigil siya or hanggang sasabihin niyang tuwigil sa mag-decelerate siya, pababa. But since the problem does not require it to decelerate at a certain uh, time, so therefore, ganyan yung acceleration natin, all throughout, is equal. So, we have acceleration at T1 is equal to the acceleration at the second interval, or the acceleration at S2 at your second interval at second kilometer mark or A is total for A is constant for the whole trip for the whole trip okay so take note that if you would use this formula you have no T wala din kayong A so therefore you would use two equations to unknown how about if you would use this formula also you have no T and you have no A so kailangan mo din gumawin ng two equations to unknown dyan but if you would use this formula you have your A is unknown but all your VF your VF at wa, VF is given your VI is given and then also your S is given. How? Basically, we would consider our first kilometer mark. Solving for A. Considering the first kilometer mark. So, how would you do that? So, take note that we would use this formula vf squared less vi squared is equal to 2as at the first kilometer mark we would consider our s as 1000 meter and our vi as 2 meters per second and our vf equals to 10 meters per second okay so we have 10 squared substituting the values so 10 squared 100 john less 2 squared which is equal to 2 multiplied by our acceleration which is unknown and our s so take note that acceleration is constant all throughout and our s is what is s natin 1000 meter so okay take note that nakalimutong ilagay yung units natin so pwede natin yung i-factor out 
kasi parehas lang yan. So, meter squared per second squared. So, mapapansin mo, magkakansil lang isang kilometer, uh, meter dyan. Mang E1 is meter per second squared, which is the unit of your acceleration. So, we have acceleration is equal to then, AT1 is uh, AC, which is your AC1, AT1 is then equal to 100 less 4 divided by 2 multiplied by 1,000. Right? So, using your calculator, 100 less 4 divided by 2 times 1,000, we have an acceleration of, take note that it is equal to 81, it is equal to 0 0.0 zero forty eight meters per second squared this is our acceleration okay so later on you can actually solve for your vf2 into durations okay you can directly solve it by using again this formula or isa sa inyo. Okay? Pwede nyo gamitin na yung VF, VI nyo is yung VF1 which is 10 meters per second and then your S is equal to 1,000 or you may also use your VI is equal to 2 meters per second and your S is equal to 2,000. So, in this case, I will solve your VF2 VF2 uh, final velocity at second interval so, solving for VF2 or your final velocity at second interval So, we'll have a value equal to S, uh, VF squared less VI squared is equal to 2AS Considering that my S is the total 2 kilometer interval, so we have 2,000 meter. So we have our VF squared, which is unknown, less our VI squared. So VI is your 2 meters per second pa rin ang gagamitin ko dyan. But particularly, you can use your VI as 10 meters per second and considering a 1,000 kilometer S. Parehas lang yan. So, less... 2 squared which is equal to 2 multiplied by our acceleration which is already given in 0 0.048 multiplied by our S which is 2000. So, ilalagay ko lang muna yung unit ha. So, we have VF squared less 2 squared which is 4 meters squared per second squared which is also equal to 2 multiplied by 0 0.048 meters per second squared multiplied by 2,000 meters. So, mapapansin nyo meters times meters is equal to meters squared. So, we have VF squared equals 2 times 0 0.048 uh, 100 plus 4 divided by 1,000. So, i-recalculate ko lang yung acceleration natin, na. Mayra magkamari. Okay? So, 0 0.048 talaga. So, V squared is equal to 2 multiplied by 0 0.048 0 0.048 multiplied by 2,000. So, we have a value equal to 192 192 meter squared multi, uh, meter squared over second squared okay so plus 4 kasi transpose natin to tama transpose natin dito so you will have a value of your vf squared equals 196 meter squared per second squared so getting the square root of both sides so we have our VF 
equals square root of 196, 14 meters per second. This is our VF2. So, try nyo sa bahay nyo na gamitin yung VI as your VF1, which is 10 meters per second. And then, you would consider S as 1,000 meters. So, ganito pa rin yung sagot niya. 14 meters per second. Next. So, this will be our answer at your velocity at second interval. Okay. So, ilalagay ko siya sa kung natin. Sa FVD natin. So, VFT is equal to 14 meters per second. So, what is the total time that it takes uh, for the the determine the trans, trans velocity when it passes the next kilometer mark and the time it takes to travel the 2 kilometer distance so kahit anong pwede mo nang gumitin dyan diba? but particularly pwede ba to? hindi eh, nagmamadali ako kaya itong gagamitin ko time lang naman ng full kilometer travel lang kinukuha niya so, take note that if you are going to get the total time, so, pag ginamit nyo yung first interval and second interval, so, T1 plus T1 to 2, so, 1 to 2 yung dinalagay ko, so, T0 to 1 plus T1, uh, T1 to 2 is equal to your T2, or your second time interval, your total time interval. Total time interval. But, since, uh, kwan lang siya, constant acceleration siya, mag-shortcut ako. Take note that my T2 can be solved by Vf less Vi is equal to A T2. Wherein, considering as my Vf equals 14 meters per second and my Vi is equal to 2 meters per second. So, bakit ko ginawa yan? Basically, based on the problem, so, sa, lagi kong sinasabi, bibigyan kayo ng hint ng problem, hindi naman na bago yung acceleration ko from my first trip to my last trip. So, therefore, we have our VF, which is equal to oh, nag-iba pa nga. Okay. Naglolo ko. Okay. So, VF is equal to 14. So, take that. Pwede natin ilabas yung meters per second. Equals our 80, which is give, uh, solved at 0 0.048, 0 0.048 meter per second squared multiplied by our T2. Okay? So, mapansin nyo, makakancel out yung meter, makakancel out yung meter, matitres ang second. Okay? So, we have 14 less 2 meters per second is... 12 meters per second divided by 0 0.048 meter per second squared. Okay. Magmatitira yung isang seconds kasi tataas yan. So, we have our T2 or your total time travel is equal to 12 divided by 0 0.048. So, we have 250 seconds. 250 seconds. This is the solution or the answer of your T2. Okay?